Can you see that up there? My liner transferred onto my lid. Can you see that? Oh, I am offended, upset, and so many other feelings. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be testing out a bunch of new Milani makeup. But before I get into that, I do want to take just a real quick second and talk to you guys um, about obviously what happened at the tail end of last week. For those of you that missed it um, over on Instagram or here in the community tab, I also didn't put up a video on Friday and all of it was centered around us losing our little best furry friend of uh, almost 11 years, Pooper, as you guys have seen her on here. Her given name is Autumn, but we called her Pooper. I called her her poops or madam a la poopis if you will and she was just the most beloved little member of this family she was the absolute best dog she was so funny and when you looked at her she always had like this weird little smile that she would do and even for as cantankerous as she was especially in the last couple of years you know always wanting to bite the cats or just chase something or whatever she was just the absolute best dog in the world and i i had a really really hard time with this one like harder <clears throat> harder than I anticipated and I just um I just wanted you guys to know how much I appreciate all of the love and the understanding you know not even about missing a video like so many of you didn't even care about the video um just the outpouring of like the love and the caring from you guys and the empathy and sympathy like from those of you that have been there and you've been through this and I think for me what makes this a little bit harder was that she her and I were such like soul twins we were so so similar and just like our mannerisms and the way that we acted and so anything that I went through in life that was really hard you know whether it was like a really bad breakup or um you know moving or this or that and just like anything that was going on in my life I could just like hold that little dog and I would just squeeze her and love her not not squeeze her too hard well maybe sometimes but I would just squeeze her and I could laugh with her I could cry with her I could be depressed with her and just the unconditional like love and care and hmm just the unconditional love that you get from an animal and with her I had that we were twins in our souls and in everything and I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for being so kind and for being so sweet and understanding and for being there and for all of the prayers and the, just the everything that you guys gave I just wanted to say thank you I know it's a really long rambly intro and I'm gonna stop now um, I, but I just wanted to say thank you because it means a lot to know that you guys you know you love me you support me but you were able to also love and to know her and it's just it was really sweet of you guys to be so kind and I just that's all I wanted to say but I don't want to keep going down this road because as we all know like this is just going to continue to happen so I'm going to pause for just a brief moment I'm going to put my hair back and try to figure out what is happening with this hair um you know figure out my face get it to calm down a little bit and we are going to dive into today's video it's kind of amalgamation of all the new stuff that's come out from Milani we have a couple of items from their green goddess collection we have some new highlights and just you know just kind of some random stuff that I saw that I've been kind of gathering along the way so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this taken care of zoom you guys in and we can get started all right so we're here we are ready to go we look like a real live lioness um, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with primer and for this I actually have a couple of different options the first one I have is the Milani green goddess this is their cannabis sativa seed oil glow oil oh my god this bottle is gorgeous do you guys see how pretty that is like, I hope that that shows up on camera. That is the most beautiful fade, and that's a drugstore component. But to be fair, I think this was like a $20 <laughs> item, so is it drugstore? Yes, but like also higher price type drugstore, but that's really pretty, and this much glow oil will last you forever, and that's just so beautiful. Like, I would leave that just like sitting on my vanity, and it would just look so pretty. Anyways, this is this, and this is what I'm gonna use to prime the other side. This is the Milani Rose Primer Prep and Hydrate Lightweight Base, and it says that this hydrates, brightens, and plumps with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and vitamin B5. So let's go ahead and do this one first, since how it's in my hand. I'm taking this one first and like really working it into my more porous areas because it said that it's supposed to minimize the look of pores. All right, so the rose smell in this, just so you guys know, actually quite pleasant like don't get me wrong I would prefer there be no scent in it um because I prefer fragrance free it's just better for your skin but I like the fact that it doesn't smell like an ultra fake rose you know what I mean like it doesn't smell like oh god that was totally lab created like it actually smells really nice for being what it is. And then on the other side, while that, you know, kind of does its thing and soaks in, we're gonna take a little hit of this Green Goddess. I wanna take a little bit here on the back of my hand, just like a little drop so I can kind of take a look at the consistency. I know you guys can barely see it, but this does have, oh wow, that's incredibly lightweight. Where is it? There it is. Um, it's a very, very lightweight, almost like water consistency. Like that's the level of lightweight we're talking here. My, um, my, my spidey nose senses here do detect 
a little bit of something, almost like a very, 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 very light mint. Most people would probably not even be able to smell it, but I have like a super, super heightened sense of smell. And it smells really nice, again, for what it is. And I was just giving that a second to like absorb into the back of my hand. That is so pleasant. Like it leaves the most beautiful, like light glow on your skin, but it doesn't feel hyper oily at all. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that. That was a very in-depth <laughs> situation there. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I think, just the tiniest bit. And because this is an oil, I'm going to leave it more so, okay, there's literally no oil in this dropper and I'm sitting here trying to drop it on my cheek like I'm some damn magician. <laughs> Let's actually maybe put some oil on my skin, thank you. I'm gonna do one tiny little drop and I'm basically splitting it into the different areas of my face because I don't want a lot of oil but I obviously need to be able to spread it. For those of you that don't know or you're new here, well, if you're new here, hello, hi, welcome. Um, please subscribe and I promise I don't start every video in tears about a dog. It was just, you're just, this is just your lucky day if this is your first video. Um, but as far as uh, my skin type goes, for those of you that might be wondering, um, I do typically lean more combo oily, like somewhere in that field. Uh, definitely more of an oily T-zone and then the rest of my face can kind of be a hit or miss for combo. I really like how that settles into the skin because I can barely feel it but it's so lightweight like it's just so lightweight oh my gosh okay so while that's had a chance to really just like sink and settle into my skin I was kind of debating this little guy because this is the Milani cream to powder um, foundation I have this in the shade 195 warm porcelain and it says that it is a conceal and perfect smooth finish for cream to powder foundation and I've just been running my finger through it to try and gauge like the consistency and it is very interesting so there's like a little swatch of it the color seems to be fine for me. So I think for application, I'm actually going to start off by using the little thing that comes in the base of this compact. So you flip up the product right here, and then there's this little guy waiting in the bottom, and along with a mirror, by the way, if you want to use it on the go. But um, I'm actually going to start off using this because I feel like this texture would be very complimentary. So I'm just really going to dig in here, grab some nice product on this little sponge thing, and I really want to start by just kind of going in and getting a feel for the product and the coverage and seeing how it looks. Okay, um, literally did nothing. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead. I think that based on, again, the consistency and whatnot, this is definitely going to be a lighter coverage foundation. So at this point, I have this cheek. I, you know, went over a couple of times and nothing over here. So you can see that it's giving me a little something, just not too much. I want to put it over top of this area right here and just kind of get a feel. Uh, okay. As far as the, this one goes, like, is it my favorite? No. Is it something that I would probably reach for again? No. So I think I'm going to stop right there as far as the face goes, um, or as far as, not the face, we're not done with the face, but uh, with this with this little guy, I think we are. Um, I, I'm really struggling because it actually looks okay over like the planes of my face, but it looks really bad anywhere that there's like pores or, you know, texture of any kind. So like my nose doesn't look good around my mouth doesn't look good. Um, so as of right now, it's not my favorite. I will obviously like match my face and all of that. I don't know how weird it looks on camera. In real life, it looks pretty good. It's a little bit light, but I think we can fix it. And just in the interest of being as consistent as I can, I'm going to use my Hourglass Concealer. This is in the shade Birch, and I've been using this a ton, and I'm just going to hit like under my eyes a little bit, you know, right through the T-zone, my usual places, um, just to kind of even it out and give me a more uniformed experience. So going in and doing that, like just adding the concealer made a huge difference. Like I love the way that those two look pressed together. And maybe it was something as simple as just applying the foundation, adding that little bit of creaminess, pushing it in with a blender. Like it could obviously be any combination of those things, but like now it looks really nice. <laughs> so Okay, I'm not mad at it. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Maybe maybe things are going to turn around. Maybe this could maybe this could work out. Keep an open mind and pray. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, set the under eye. And for that, what do I want to use? What am I feeling? What am I what am I feeling in my soul? I'm going to go on with this guy. This is my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair. I'm just going to tap a little bit here out onto this blush because somehow I lost my lid for my Maybelline Fit Me. So <laughs> makeshift little surface here. And I am going to first press this all through my T-zone and my under eye just really briefly 
directly with my sponge here. Because I am gonna be playing around with their new cream blushes, but I don't have a new like cream bronzer from Milani, I am gonna take some of my Chanel Soleil cream bronzer here just a little bit. I don't wanna go like too overboard. I'm gonna buff this into my skin really quickly with my Scott Barnes 65. Now moving in to the cream blushes here, I'm just swatching them really quickly on my hands. I wanted to mention um, to those of you obviously that are like on my channel and you avidly watch my videos, you probably will have already seen these in another video, I wanna say a couple of weeks ago. I did like a new at the drugstore type situation. I can link it up here. And that was my actual first impressions of these, but I figured since how I technically did purchase them for this video, I would actually, you know, include them as well, just so we can see how everything works together. So here are the three colors that I have swatched. This one over here, this pinky color is 140 Rose Romance. The one in the dead center is 110 Nude Flush. And the one, the bright one here off to the side that looks very orange is 130 Cheeky Coral. I think I'm gonna start off with the 140 Rose Romance. And I'm just gonna lightly kind of pop, oh boy, <laughs> there was nothing light about that. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that out very lightly, kind of switch the sides around just to make sure I don't have any harshness happening here. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. Really quickly to go in and set the rest of the face because we've got our cream products on at this point and I'm again more normal to oily so I like to really set everything as much as I can without going overboard. And I thought this would be a good product. This is the Milani Powder Foundation. This is in the shade 01 Shell and it's their Even Touch Powder Foundation. So I thought we would just take a little bit of this with my Scott Barnes 67 and lightly kind of puff it on. Obviously it's not like a full on foundation foundation in this instance. It's more of just a, a setting powder but I thought it would be really nice to see how these textures kind of melded together. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm going to do brows. And for that, I actually picked up a new brow pencil that they have. This is their new just brow pencil. <laughs> okay, very creative. Um, I have it in the shade 130 Soft Brown and it says that this is a brow pencil with a precise point and a smooth texture to quickly glide on color. And it looks like it's more of a pointed tip. So it's kind of like that has the same tip as a precisely my brow. Good, nice precision for application, which is nice. So I went ahead and I finished getting that all layered through my brows. I still have to clean them up a little bit on the underside, but for the most part, these are the brows. And this is just a swatch of the actual pencil, just if you want to see it by itself. Um, I, I do like it. I think the consistency is very nice, very creamy. Um, it's very easy to like maneuver, manipulate into your brows and like work through them, which is nice. But I think the thing that surprised me the most about this is that it is incredibly lightweight. It doesn't feel like super thick or gummed up or anything like that in your actual brows, which is nice. So when you're working it through, it feels very lightweight. Um, so but yeah, overall, I think it's actually a really, really nice brow pencil. Again, very nice consistency. But I also noticed that while I was on their website, there wasn't any new brow gels. So I'm just going to take the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. This is in the shade 260 Deep Brown. And then I'm also really quickly just cleaning up the brows with some of that uh, Hourglass Concealer. Same stuff that I used earlier. Let's go ahead and talk about eyeshadow because for the eyes, I do have a couple of different options. Um, unfortunately, one of them did get destroyed in transit. This was one of their little mini palettes. It was the most wanted palette in the shade 130 Burning Desire. And mine showed up so burning that uh, two of the shades are completely obliterated. And as you can tell, it just kind of wrecked the overall look and aesthetic of the palette. So I won't be using that today, but that's okay, uh, because I do have these little guys as well. These are the metallic two-in-one liner shadows, and I thought these were such an interesting concept because you can not only use them as like a very thin, precise line or as a liner, but you can also use them as a sheer but glimmering eyeshadow, and basically all you have to do is, I guess, like create, like put, the, put it on again in a liner if you want it just all over, and you can just kind of smudge it out, and like it'll create a really nice subtle sheen, so I thought this would be a cool place to hang out for a minute, but I also picked up these little duos that they had on their website. These are their eyeshadow duos, and I have it in 160 Milani Gold and 110 Life Partners. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. This one is Milani Gold. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, that's absolutely beautiful. And then the other one that I have here, this 110 Life Partner, very nice. This one is more of a deeper toned gold shimmer and a matte brown. Ooh, that feels so good too. Okay, give her a little swatch. Very nice. So here's that duo right here. The consistency on that matte and shimmer shade are so beautiful. Look at how rich that matte shade is. 
Oh my gosh, those are both stunning. And now just so we can make an informed decision, let's go ahead and do the same thing with these liners. Um, this is the shade, it looks like shade five, Golden Glam. So this is the overall component. These have been out for a little while, so you guys have probably seen them by now. So there is this shade. Now I just wanna take a feeling here. This is what it looks like as a condensed line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of smudge it out a little. <gasps> Ooh, it's actually really pretty. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and swatch the others. These are gorgeous. This one's really nice. It's more subtle than the gold one. This is number four, Beach Sand Burst, but it's actually really pretty. It's more of like a light, almost taupey color. I don't even know if you can like see it. It's that right there. Very, very light, but very pretty. This one is number two, Bronze Bombshell. Very nice. Let's go ahead and just kind of smudge that one out a little bit. Ooh, very nice as well. Next up, we have number six, which is Magical Night, and it is so rich. Okay, let's go ahead and kind of smudge that one out as well. Very nice. It does have a thin type consistency. The glitter and gleam on this one is a little bit less. It's more of like, like a, a silvery kind of midnight black type situation, but it is very pretty. And I like that when you smudge it around, that uh, silver glitter is like more activated. Right, and then it looks like I have one more shade. This is the shade one, Peachy Keen. So it's like a lighter peach color. And this one has a much lighter consistency, just like the second one that I swatched. It's very, very pretty. There it is. Is right over there again it's a lot harder to see what I'm gathering from that is you know given you know what I'm used to with the consistency of the first one that I tried it's almost like the lighter they are in pigmentation there's a like blended out swatch of it the lighter the pigmentation the more viscous they are like the more thin the fluid is versus like these other three over here that had more color and more pigment and they were also a little bit heavier weighted with the um, liquid aspect so just something to consider I do like these though they're very pretty also while I'm here I might as well mention I have this little guy this is their eye tech extreme felt tip easy glide handle liquid eyeliner and it says that it is waterproof and non feathering so let's go ahead and open this guy up as well I mean while we're here don't want to be rude and here's the actual component I like this it has like this little soft touch handle moment which is really nice kind of gives you a place to you know grip and, and have a little bit better grasp on what's happening um, and the actual can you see the tip on that guy it's actually quite long it's like from here up, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna take and do a little swatch of it on my hand, just one little line. I'm just gonna let that sit there, dry down, and see if it actually does feather, because why? Because they said no feathering, and if there is feathering, well, <laughs> I, I really won't do much of anything because I can't, but you'll know about it. I will tell you, and then you will tell the world, and still nothing will happen, but it doesn't matter. But moving on, I'm just gonna use my Hourglass Concealer here to also prime and prep my lids. Give myself a little bit of a base here. That base on and applied, I'm gonna grab my Morphe M452 here. It's more of a fluffy base. And I'm gonna go in with that deeper matte um, brown shade here. And I'm gonna start, wow, there's there's some color. Can you see how rich that is? Holy cow. Um, and I'm just gonna take and start kind of lightly popping that through my crease. I am going to really be light-handed and buff this out because I don't have much of a transition color to work with, so I wanna make sure that I build this lightly and allow it to still be very blended. All right, so I'm thinking we're pretty much done. I just went ahead and I worked it all the way through the crease on both sides, and I actually really like that. I think the shade itself worked well and manipulated perfectly. I couldn't have asked for better. You know, it's really good and creamy as far as like the texture and consistency goes. Um, but I am gonna take this same brush really quickly, and I'm just gonna dive in to the powder foundation that we used earlier, and I'm gonna use just a little bit of this to blend out and also set the upper part of my eyelid. And then I think from there, we're just gonna go straight in with this glitter side over here this guy and first I'm gonna take a little hit of my NYX glitter glue you guys know this is my go-to anytime I'm using anything shimmer or glitter you can use a brush if that's your journey it's just it's not mine I like to use my fingers I'm just gonna lightly kind of pop this over my mobile lid more so in the middle here and then go in with my finger go into the glitter and just get that on there oh my gosh that's very nice 
really good, very packed pigment for a glitter, which I like. And then I think while we're here and we're just working on this eye, I'm gonna grab my black eyeliner and looking at the swatch on the back of my hand, I know you guys can't tell on camera really, but in real life there is zero feathering, so that's a great sign um, because my eyelids are very prone to feathering. So makes me feel pretty good about this decision. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this very close to my lash line has a really nice glide to it, very good payoff. While I was in there, I went ahead and I did just a little bit of a wing. You guys can see it's just a little baby wing. I don't do wings all that often, so it's just a fun little mix-up, but uh, it actually looks really good. This liner performed very well. It even went over top of the glitter very well, which makes me happy. I think moving on to the lower lash line, I think I wanna take just a little bit of this. This is that um, Playline in O2 Bronze Bombshell, and I'm actually going to apply this on my under eye and I think kind of smudge it along just for a very, you know, light kind of eye effect. So just a little bit of it right there. And then just lightly kind of blend it. I like that when you're playing around and like manipulating it, it doesn't stay like a harsh line. It actually does blend out. All right. So I went ahead and I got the eyes all finished up. I did go ahead and thicken up the wing just a little bit, just to make it a little bit more dramatic. I thought it might match the gold sparkle a little bit better. And overall, I actually really like the way that it turned out. Now I do want to go in and, you know, kind of work on the rest of the face. And I have to use a couple of products just to kind of get into the next one. And that would be a real quick dusting of a powder bronzer and for that I'm going to use the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder and it says this is in the shade 01 Natural and then I'm also going to take a little bit of blush. This is the 05 Coral Cove Powder Blush from Milani of course. I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on the cheeks just for a little pop of, you know, brightness, a little pop of something. And then before I go in with any highlight, I do like to spray my face so I'm just going to take a little bit of my Morphe Setting Spray. And I went ahead and I moved the camera back out because going into highlight, I think it helps to have like a bigger picture of kind of what's going on. Um, which is speaking of highlight, I have three different options that I picked up from the Milani website. All of them are obviously newer to me. Um, although I realized that only like one of them, maybe two are actually new. So just something to keep in mind because, you know, I haven't played around with Milani a lot lately and I really wanted to kind of get my fingers in everything that was happening. So let's go ahead and talk about the newest release um, from them. I believe it's one of their newest releases. And this is the Milani Ludicrous Lights. This is their Peach Ella Duo Chrome Highlight. And obviously, you know, based on the look and kind of what I've got going on, I don't think this is like the vibe for today, but I wanted to pick it up, A, just to kind of see, you know, how it, how it works, applies, that sort of thing as far as like the swatch goes. Oh, that's really pretty. Um, and truth be told, I don't really wear highlights like this in general, but that would look beautiful. Like all over the lid is kind of just like a sparkly moment. And then I also picked up one of their little duos. This is their highlighter duo in 110 Supercharged. It has more of a pink shade and then more of like a very light pinky champagne type color. Ooh, those are beautiful and very smooth. All right, let's go ahead and swatch those. <gasps> oh, I think I might love you. Okay, the pink one is too dark for my skin tone. I wouldn't be able to use that, but this shade is gorgeous. It's very nice, very finely milled, which I'm a big fan of. And then I do have one more. Like I mentioned, I have three total because I'm just such an overachiever. Um, this is their Baked Highlighter in 110 Dolce Perla. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is just such a beautiful compact. Like, I don't even want to dig into it because it's so, it just looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go ahead and swatch her. <gasps> oh, that's pretty too. Okay, I'm going to do this one along the bottom. On camera, I definitely think you can see the like undertone of it. It is different. This one up here had a little bit more of like a yellowy type undertone, but this one is more like champagne with a little bit of a pink undertone to it. Very, very pretty. Oh my gosh. Why does this have pink on it? That's concerning. Like, should anybody's highlight brush be this color? I feel like it shouldn't. We're gonna go in first on this side and we're gonna take the baked highlight. Oh boy. Ooh, okay, yes, that has, that has some payoff. Okay, definitely more of a pink undertone than I anticipated. So I wiped this off and now we're gonna go in with the duo. I'm taking the lighter toned side. <gasps> oh my God. Oh wow, that's 
stunning. That one is my favorite. This one's pretty and everything, but I think this one's my favorite. Gotta get that chalupa chin. Yes, honey, I want her good and greasy and highlighted to God himself. Yes, please. Oh, you guys. Can you see that up there? My liner transferred onto my lid. Can you see that? Oh, I am offended, upset, and so many other feelings. Oh my God, why did it do that? I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take my spoolie from my brow pencil here. I just wanna see like, what exactly is happening up here? Um, as far as that liner goes, oh, it looks, it's bad. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was just like black liner that was maybe on some glitter, like I could scrape it away, but it's like the actual liner just like on my eyelids, which is just lovely. So I think I'm gonna take some of this glitter and I'm gonna try to like lightly maybe tap it over that area just to lightly camouflage. Obviously like <laughs> for the purposes of doing this again, I would never make this mistake twice. Now next up, I'm just gonna spray the face, set everything in place. This is my Maybelline Lash fix setting spray also look at this butthole lip I was gonna move on to mascara but like I can't look at this <laughs> do you see the line of foundation or whatever that is that I have on my lips ew how about we get rid of that and play around with lips real quick because that is just maddening and not cute. Their new Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayons. I grabbed them in two different shades and I really liked the look of these they have kind of like a blunted round end and oh my God, that is so, like, look at this. I'm barely applying any pressure, look at this. Look at that color, oh my gosh, that's, the pigmentation is beautiful. Um, this is the shade, this is 150 Lovesick. I'm gonna go in here and just lightly kind of trace around. The pigmentation is very rich. And I think because this is a lot more intense than what I was going for, I'm just gonna lightly kind of take and blend that out instead of applying like full pigment to my entire lip. And it is matte, but it doesn't feel like a super intrusive matte, which I'm really happy about. And I used like almost none of that. <laughs> like it's so, I feel like a little bit of this goes such a long way. And the only thing which I almost forgot about because I did my stuff out of order is some mascara. So I'm gonna throw on some of my L'Oreal Age Perfect Mascara. Just a little, nice little thick coating of it. And all right, you guys, this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the up close so you guys can take a look while I kind of go through everything. Um, I do feel like at the end of this look kind of all coming together, I, I feel like it looks pretty good. Like I would give it a solid, you know, C plus B minus. I think the problem that I'm having with this is that it is a full on Monet, for those of you that have seen Clueless. Um, from far away, it's okay, but up close, it's just a big old mess. That is 100% the way that this makeup look turned out feel like just like overall it's a lot of little things that were very disjointed and even like the color scheme you know I wouldn't typically pair this lip with this eye and little stuff like that's kind of getting to me so I want to take a second and really break down what I think as far as the products themselves go and we can kind of move from there um first thing I want to mention complexion wise not a fan of the foundation we know that um I will continue testing out this powder foundation to see if I can use that to set other things the highlights for me are probably my favorite I love the way that they both look. Again, the, the second one, the duo, was my favorite. Um, but I will keep working with those. The eyeshadow duos, these were really nice. The consistency is good. I have to play around with them a little bit more. You know, kind of kind of play around with these, compare them to other brands. But that part of my look wasn't the issue. These little guys right here, I'll definitely have to play around with some more because I like them smudged out. But based on the consistency of these, I'm very curious how they're going to work as a liner. Like if they're going to hold that structural line that you need if you're going for that crisp kind of look, whether it's detail or a liner, like an actual eyeliner type situation. So again, I'll play around with them, but so far I'm kind of half and half on these. The primers I feel like didn't get a fair shake because of how bad this foundation looks. So I'm kind of just putting a pin in those. And the lip, I think, you know, again, regardless of the fact that it's not the color I would pair with this look, I do really like it. So I think overall what we have here is like a perfect amalgamation of good and bad. But I wanna hear from you guys down below. Did you like this video? Do you still like these kinds of of videos um, as far as like going through what's new with one brand and just really diving into it, talking about it, consistencies, textures, all of that. Um, I do have a couple more planned, so let me know down below if you like them. If you haven't checked me out yet, Instagram and on Twitter, both of those will of course be linked down below. If you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do that before you leave. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up right around 7 a.m. my time, 7, 7, 15, like somewhere in that range. So subscribe and come back. I would love it if you'd stick around and, you know, just see what else there is to offer. And you guys, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
Y'all better just be looking at them roots. Look at how gray I am. Oh my God, my 30 is showing and it is thriving. Also, I need a makeup wipe. Hello. Oh, do I see a makeup wipe? I literally can't see anything. Why do I take my glasses off and then look for things? Like Paige, get your life together. Come on, get a haircut and get a real job. Ma, 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 Sharona. <laughs> see what I did there? God, I'm funny.